Hey, you guys, welcome back. Uh, and once again, we're here at Valencia Bonita, and now our family's gotten bigger. So let's start off with our special guests here. Marianne, Lynn, Lily, Joyce. And of course, Lily forgot it was a pink kind of day, but that's okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, all jokes aside, we are here on a very serious topic, which is your safety. Uh, we have had quite a few injuries here in this community, a lot of falling, right? Yes. Uh, and honestly, one of the biggest things, like, again, I yes, I am a sponsor player, uh, but I am not even talking about what kind of shoes you're gonna wear, but you need to make sure that you have the proper shoe. Uh, one thing about the shoes is that running shoes do not do the job. Uh, so what happened? Not a good thing. I had uh, my running shoes on and down I went two knees a mess for a while and it's not fun yes there you go so again you you can be uh it's easy because you have running shoes at home and like yeah. ah you know i'm just gonna go out and hit some balls and then again things like that happen right. so that's a big mistake and and unfortunately uh i can tell you that uh you know tennis shoes are you know pickleball shoes tennis shoes are a little bit more expensive uh but to me it, your health is more important than anything. So again, let's talk about some of the things that we can do to be safer on the court. So one of the things that we found is that when we are at the kitchen, because of the fact that we become so afraid of this kitchen, that when the ball comes a little deeper, what do we do? Instead of taking the ball out of the air, we try to step back. So when we are taking balls out of the air, uh, we are not only, they go hey. good, ah, I'm getting all of them, good, there you go, perfect, good, nice shot, okay, so, but, but, but listen, this is the part also, when your opponent hits a good ball, sometimes it's okay to let it go, you don't need to go down swinging just because, you know, I know it hurts your, our pride, I get it, but you gotta know what, what can you do, right? Know what your limitations are. Look at that, I knew that I had, I, that's the brains right here. So, so a lot of the times, because we feel the ball comes at us, we feel like, oh, I can get this ball. And all of a sudden we lose our balance and that's when down we go falling. So let's talk about, again, uh, and, and Lynn, I'll have you hit a little bit deeper ding to Lily. And this is the part where instead of, they go taking it out of the air, that's what I'm looking for. Now, because I don't want Lily, that's great. Now, because I don't want you to fall, let me show you the not to do real quick. This is what I don't want you guys doing. Going like that. And I see that quite often, and that is when people trip on their own feet. Unfortunately, uh, the ground is not forgiving at all. So the next one is when we are here at the kitchen is about the footwork as well. So when we start kind of dancing, I call the cha-cha-cha. You remember that, right? The cha-cha-cha. What happens is that we become kind of tangled on our own feet and down we go. So trying your best to keep your hips forward. Is there times that you're gonna have to cross over? Yes. Absolutely. But what we want to avoid is doing more than that. Right? It's the problem is when we're going, I don't even know what we're doing. It's a grapevine, uh, maybe some aerobics from back in the, in the 90s. But what we want to try to do is, again, if you have to reach, take one, but then come back. Okay? So, again, is avoiding getting your feet all twisted around. Another one that we have problems with is when we serve and start to move forward into the court. We want to try to avoid that because of the fact that if we serve and creep into the court, that return comes deep. Now we back paddling. Now you're going to move forward, big no-no. And now, well, one, you can't take the ball out of the air, right? But the other part is now I want you to just, just give me one step going back again. And, and then that way she can stop, right? Like just stop and he can freeze that motion. So, so you're going to... Serve it, go ahead. That's it. That's it. There you go. That was it. So that's the one that we want to avoid if we can, because again, it's very easy to 
back up on that, be on your heels, back paddle, and fall back, okay? So the last one is probably the one that happens the most, which is when we are at the kitchen and we get lobbed and we back paddle. I've seen broken wrists, unfortunately, and also a lot of heads to the ground. Those are no good. Uh, we want everybody to stay safe and healthy. So when, when we hit the, the overhead, what is our body doing? Turning, right? We don't want to back paddle. So I'll show the bad example because I don't want you guys to do it. So you're going to lob me, uh, Lynn, please. There you go. This one. That's the one we don't want. We don't want to be caught. And especially when our head goes over our heels, it's a big no-no. Please stop wherever you are and forget about it. Don't hit it. Don't try to hit it because you're going to end up on the ground. So what we want to do is turn our body to hit the overhead, okay? This is a habit that sometimes, because again, we get away with it, we do it a couple of times and it works, but then the third time, maybe the fourth time, it won't work. And then you're gonna be down on the ground. So again, please make sure that you're safe out there so you can enjoy and have fun playing some pickleball. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, and again, we'll see you soon at the courts. And this is a wrap for Valencia. Yeah! Yeah!